So hi, Rodrigo. Thanks for the interview today. Uh, to give our users a little more insight into Ingrid Cloud's core technology, I wanted to take a minute to talk a little bit more about accuracy and validating CFD code. So to start, validating a new CFD code is an important step to accuracy, but modeling turbulence is not always easy. Is that right? Yeah, so that's correct. There's uh, validation is one step in assessing a CFD software, and it actually assesses how the CFD software is able to represent the physics or to model reality, reality correctly. And uh, turbulence is part of that, right? And to that end, you can do you can solve a benchmark problem, and there is a several there are several types of benchmark problems. Ones ranging with uh, from simple geometries such as the flow path cylinders, spheres, and, and cubes. Those are more academic benchmarks. And there are also more complex benchmarks with real life geometries such as airplanes, cars, and buildings. And uh, in a benchmark effort, you're not only assessing the software itself, but also the entire framework necessary to run the simulation. And that includes the engineer who is setting up the case and running it. So you're not, you're more testing the skills of that engineer to use this particular CFD software and the ability to solve a particular type of problem rather than the software itself. With Ingrid Cloud, that's a totally different story. Our algorithms, they include automated mesh generation and mesh refinement technology, which are based on a joint equations. And there is no explicit modeling of turbulence involved, which eliminates the human factor from the simulation framework. And the entire process is basically automatic, automatic because of that. This means that once uh, you run Ingrid Cloud and the algorithm is converged, you're sure that the solution that you got is optimal for that particular problem. So it really sounds like Ingrid Cloud's core technology has been kind of fine-tuned when it comes to the automation process. Um, but when you talk about assessment and when you talk about assessing new tools, um, that kind of goes hand in hand with benchmarking. And so assessing and benchmarking, and why is that such a critical part of reliability in terms of CFD code? Well, they, it's the only way that you can prove that your software is representing reality correctly by solving these type of benchmark problems. But what I'm trying to emphasize here is that if you have an engineer that has a lot of experience, that has worked several years with a particular CFD tool and has worked several years with a particular type of problems, that person will probably be able to solve one specific benchmark uh, problem and get good results for that. But with Ingrid Cloud, anyone can solve any problem independent of the if the person has previous experience in that area or if the person is used to, to working with Ingrid Cloud or not. And this is because we automate the process, we eliminate modeling, and we eliminate the mesh generation problem, which is very difficult, in particular for turbulent flows. Right. And so because of Ingrid Cloud's intelligent algorithms and its automated process, um, thanks to some interesting research that you've been a part of, you've participated in um, research from NASA to validate these algorithms. Uh, can you talk a little bit more about this project? Yeah, so this was during my PhD studies. We were three of us that are founders of Ingrid Cloud involved in those projects. And this was part of the, as you said, it was a part of the process of validating that the things that we were working with, they produced good results even compared to reality or wind tunnel measurements in this case. So, the people who presented in those benchmarks organized by NASA together with the German and French aerospace agencies, they were very experienced engineers. They were people who were working with CFD software for several years. Even the vendors themselves were participating in those benchmarks. And there was us. I remember that we were 
at that time, I was a PhD student still, and Nicholas, who is another founder of Ingrid Cloud, he was also doing his PhD, and we didn't even have a tool to create a volume mesh of a lending gear for that particular benchmark. And we had to get that tool to create the mesh and then to feed these mesh to the algorithms in Ingrid Cloud to obtain the results that we obtained and, and deliver these results to the people organizing the benchmark. And we had basically zero years of experience in that area, which is uh, computation of uh, airframe noise uh, and, aeronaut and aeroacoustics. And we were able, even though we had zero experience, we were able to produce these results, submit them, and we were invited to present these results in front of everybody in the US. And after that, we published these results in a peer-reviewed article. And I'm happy to say that our results were together with the best ones. I mean, in such a benchmark, it's very difficult to say who is the best one because even in wind tunnel measurements, there is errors involved, right? But our results were within the best competitors of that benchmark, as I remember. So thanks, Rodrigo, for highlighting how benchmarking and validation is such an important part to CFD. We will leave a link for Ingrid Cloud's benchmarking case in this post. Thank you. Thank you, Remy.